We are here representing the World Challenge of this year. Uh, World Challenge is an organisation which sends young adults and teens to countries that are underdeveloped so they can help out in that local community. Um, this year we are going to India, south of India, Kerala. We are going to a school of 150 kids and we are going to construct a playground for them. Without this playground, these kids would have no place to go in breaks and they would be all stuck in the school. Uh, we need to raise 3,000 euros to go on this trip, but that's mainly for the money to construct the playground. And any leftover money that we raise, we're going to give it to the school so they could buy textbooks and other things that will help out the students. This seminar, we're try our goal is to raise 500 euros, and we ask you to help us with this. Uh, we will be standing at the end of uh, this um, thing. At the, <laughs> <laughs> at, at the doors with um, glass glasses, where you can donate your money to help us. Any questions? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. My name is Leon. Hi. I love what you're doing, but I state that we all together can make 5,000 for this project. Are we? Are we going to do 5,000? You're not enthusiastic enough. You can do better, 5,000 all together. Yes or yes? Thank you. So guys, tell me something. Uh, um, do you know a little bit about this school? Do you know how they, uh, the, what age are the kids? Um, there's, ra there's around 200 students at the school. We're going, I think, around from five to 12. Yeah. All right. And, but, but you're going for how long you go for India? Uh, two, two, weeks. two weeks. They go without parents, by the way, so uh, to <laughs> India. <laughs> I'm sure when you're 14 or 15, that's part of your motivation, <laughs> but, uh, which, is, uh, which is absolutely cool. So you're going for, I'll give you the mic in a second, but you're going there for a couple of weeks, for two weeks uh, without parents, but you have uh, a few days of what before that? Because before you go to the school, I heard that you're doing some... Uh, Hiking. <laughs> some, so, uh, what is actually, what are actually you're doing? Is it a team building or is it a, You don't know exactly. No. Nope. It's or, more uh, just showing like we can get back to the community and it's more for about the kids than us. Okay. So, yeah. And you're going to, you're raising the money right now. That's your job to get enough money for the, for the playground until, uh, when is it? Until uh, when we're there. Yeah, but until what month is it? Is it July or August? It's yes, in June. In June already. Okay. So until then you need to get the money, but then when you're, you're not just giving the money, right? No. We are actually physically constructing the playground. And with the rest of the money, we are giving it to the school so they can buy supplies. All right. Sounds cool. Yeah, we we'll get the mics. Uh, if you can just stand up so uh, Sas can find you. Uh, if anybody wants to interrogate them, that's cool. And, uh... <laughs> okay, I, I wondered. Uh, just tell them you your tell... name. Tell them your oh, yeah, name. I'm Karen. Can you tell us something about your organization? Who is organizing this? Um, and I was curious with how many you are going. We are going with around 12, 13 kids from our school. And World Challenge is an organization that does these things uh, yearly, I think, even. But they do it also with other schools. And they, I remember last year, they sent a group of kids to Peru, I think, and they um, built a community center for them. And it gives many schools options of helping different rural areas in the world. Yeah? Hi, I'm Edwin, and I think this is a wonderful idea, but like other people maybe want to know, how do we know what you do, what comes out, and if people like it? Um, well, the school itself asked for, from the World Challenge, I remember they asked from the World Challenge to have a group of people sent over to help them, because uh, the school has paid many of their, much of their money to get the equipment for the playground, However, they did not have enough money to construct it, so they asked the World Challenge to send a group of kids over that fundraise the money and build it. So. Okay, thank you. I think the wonderful thing is, I mean, for sure, as a kids, but also as an organization, what they do is they are actually, 
they could offer the same thing for you, right? The world, the world Challenge could come to you and tell you, listen, guys, how about 12 of you, each one of you contribute a couple of hundred euros and go to India and construct it. But they start working with what ages? Is it your age? Is it about the starting Ninth age? Ninth grade and up. So it's 14, 15 and up. So starting with that, this is, they put them in a consciousness of already the conscious millionaires without knowing. I'm sure that if you ask a World Challenge, they will look at themselves as a charity organization. But the way that we work with them, we were very impressed, more than even the project when we heard Tom, for those that didn't recognize it, <laughs> we know who the father is, we're not sure who the mother is, but... Uh, <laughs> um, but when we heard that, we got really, really excited about all these things around it, which you didn't so much mention, I tried to get it from you. But they're actually going through, a, through quite a... You know, they, they put them with the tents and the, and the equipment and the, I think with the food and everything. And no. they need to go, or whatever it is, <laughs> they need to go for four days in the, you know, finding, and finding themselves. So, so they build up their character for that. It's really about leadership that is starting in a very young age. And I think this is a wonderful, wonderful project. Not just this specific, but this whole World Challenge uh, organization. And um, when uh, Tom asked me, she said, listen, we need to find ways to raise money. So uh, one of the things I thought, you have all those people, you talk to them about money. How about you give me a few minutes on stage? And I said, you know, uh, people are, uh, and some of you know that, people coming to us all the time wanted, uh, wanted just three minutes on the stage, and we say no. But, you know, sometimes you need to have a... You need to be, you need to be born with the right, with the right, uh, with the right cards. <laughs> this is leverage. This is leverage, okay? The other way they could do is they could do, go knock on doors, you know, and starting going. That will take a lot more time than just talk to 350 people in three minutes. I meet you just for the first time, Jeremy. It's good to meet you. You look, you look cool. Uh, this is, but this is a really good lesson for you. Lesson for you. When you're willing to step out, and I know that it's not easy, and I know that both of you are scared and practicing and everything, but when you do that, you never know what happens. Okay, you never know what happens. You just need to open your, your mouth and say, this is important for me, I want your help. Okay? I want your help. Okay? <laughs> what they've set for themselves, they said they, know they need to generate 3,000, 3,000, 3,006? 3,000. 3,000 for the whole group of 12 people. They decided for themselves, I asked them, what's your goal? They said 500. They sat on stage, our goal is to generate from this evening 500. She knows, they know that they need to have a goal. Okay? Now, Leon came up with a, with a goal of 5,000. That's great. That can be Leon's goal. It doesn't have to be yours. But I'm pretty sure that with 300 and something people around here, if every, if every one of us will give you know, a couple of euros or five euros, we can help them even reach more than the goal, which is also a good lesson for... A, to learn that when we're young, okay? To learn that when we're young, okay? To set our goals really, uh, you know, where, where we can get the maximum out of it. So guys, in a moment we're gonna say for the break. First I want to say them thank you and they want probably to take their places with their, with their jars. So guys, again, thank you very much. Jeremy, it was wonderful meeting you. Thank you for that. Thank you. All right guys, thank you for that. They were pretty amazed and they kind of asked to come back for one second and say something. So guys, if you can uh, take that for one minute. We wanted to thank you for your generosity. We were very overwhelmed with how much money we got. We just counted it in the break and we have raised... Uh, 2,812 euros and 64 cents. Isn't it awesome? All right, guys, thank you so much for teaching us a lesson.